channel if you're new here I'm Brianna and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to be productive and stay motivated I mean as a student as a senior in high school especially with senioritis I oftentimes while I'm doing my work I get unmotivated and decide to scroll my phone instead of doing my work and it's very hard to get back into the productive mindset so hopefully these tips that I've learned over my high school career now as a top student um, can help you guys with your high school career, your school journey, whatever, or even work. So today I have 15 tips to share with you guys and they're not really in any particular order. I just kind of came up with them off the top of my head. But the first tip is to wake up early and I cannot stress this enough. It is so, so important to get the day started off as early as possible because then you can have as much time as you need to complete things and have more time, especially for longer tasks. Um, I like to wake up on the weekends around 7 or 7.15 a.m. Um, so that I can like have enough time to get myself ready for the day and also get started on the things I need to do as fast as possible. And then on school days, in order to get to school on time, I have to wake up at around 6.10 which is even better because you get up, get to school, and I actually kind of like how my school starts early in a way because that way we can get everything done we need to get done and then get home earlier. So definitely wake up early so you can get your day started ASAP. The next tip is to, of course, make a to-do list. This one is also one of the most important tips in my opinion. This to-do list to-do list can be for literally anything. It doesn't just have to be for like homework assignments for school. It can be for just what you need to accomplish that day. I want to show you guys the agenda book that I've been using. Every single school year I get a new one and I definitely stick to it. I know some people get it and then end up like forgetting to use it but this is the one I have for this school year. It's this nice lavender color and I love it. It just says 2023-2024. And I like to just keep a paper clip in there to keep my space. And then I write down everything that I need to do, all my assignments and everything. It may look messy, but it keeps everything in one specific place that I can have so I can cross out things when I get it done. And it just makes me feel a lot um, better about the things that I have to do, knowing that they're all in one spot and I know exactly what I need to get done. So I recommend making your to-do list either as soon as you get home from school, like I do for my homework, or as soon as you start the day, or maybe even the night before, depending on what you have to get done the next day. Right. Tip number three is to always get ready for the day. And I know this one seems pretty simple, but it really makes a difference because um, even on weekends or on days that you don't really have much going on, it's so important just to get out of bed, change into some cute clothes and like do your makeup or do your skincare routine because that really gets you motivated and ready for the day and to actually want to do things instead of just wanting to go back on your couch or your bed and just start scrolling on your phone again so yeah I definitely recommend doing that even if it's not like a busy day yeah and make sure to put on something that you actually think is cute and like try to put together a cute outfit because that makes a whole lot of a difference trust me next tip is to do the easy things first so this one I know some people probably tell you guys to like do the hard things first to get it out of the way but honestly I've tried doing that before and sometimes it just leads to more unmotivation and unproductivity because if it takes too long to do then you start giving up and taking an even longer time to do it because you know in the back of your head that you have other things to do on top of that so for example if you just have like one sheet of math homework or like Spanish homework to do just get that over with when you get home or even while you're in school if you have time throughout the day sometimes I do sometimes I don't and then when you get home if you have like a project to work on or a big test to study for I always leave the studying for last usually unless I have like more than a few days to get like the easy things done then maybe I wait for the test and then do those after but obviously tests take priority 
um, if because you want to do well on those but um, always try to get over try to get the easy things done and over with as soon as possible so you can like check them off and it makes you feel happy about getting something done you know all right tip number five is to make sure you actually know how much you can truly do and accomplish in a given day or amount of time um, this is really important and it honestly just comes with time um, like you're probably not gonna know at the start of high school how much you can get done and I know I'm like talking a lot about school and relating this, these tips to school productivity but trust me guys it can really be related to any type of um, thing you have to do or get done when I'm planning out everything to do on my to-do list I know not to put like five tests to study for in one day because I would rather spend more time studying for like one or two tests than a lot more because I know that I'm gonna get more done and more out of it that way so yeah that's just something to keep in mind know your limits know how much you can actually complete that day because if you end up putting way too much for that day to complete then if you don't get to some things it may decrease your motivation and kind of carry on to the next day so you don't want that to happen just make sure you know what you can get done and that leads me to my next tip number six is to plan ahead if you have a busy week coming up and you know that you have a busy week and you know you have like multiple tests make sure to just write down on your agenda book for that specific like night before to study for that test or however many days before you need to do it um like for me i know for bigger tests i like to give myself like two or three days to like really review the material and then for smaller quizzes and tests i like to just take a night or two before to go over that because I know that I can handle that. And some people like to study like a whole week before whereas others like to cram it into one night and like review a little bit over time. So just know what kind of a student you are or what kind of a person you are um, depending on what other tasks you have to do. But planning ahead is always important because you don't want to get surprised by the amount of work that you have to do like the night before. Next is one of my favorite pieces of advice because I know a lot of people probably say it, but it is so, so true. It is really, really important to keep a balance of work and fun. I can't stress this enough. Like if you work for too much time um, without taking breaks or actually like being happy, it can really lead to, lead to severe burnout. And I've faced that before definitely last year my junior year of high school that was a really tough year I had AP chemistry um, and a bunch of other APs as well and I would literally just work and study for hours without taking a break without doing anything that I really enjoyed so just know that it's really important to yes complete things on time and like get things done but also allotting that time even before you get started just know that you want to set an a specific amount of time to have fun and whether that means like playing tennis like I'm gonna do today or just like working out and moving your body or hanging out with friends and family going out to dinner stuff like that so, so the next tip is to keep your workspace organized wherever that may be it could be not just like a desk it be it could be like a whole room or wherever you usually do your work do what you need to do throughout the day um, for me it's my desk, it's actually right here, and it is pretty messy right now. So yeah, but it's because I'm in the middle of studying for a an upcoming physics test. So yeah, it's covered with like laptops and books and stuff like that, but I'm probably gonna do like a desk organization video soon to be honest, because I actually need to do this, but I feel like once you have an organized workspace, you're definitely going to be more likely to be productive and get your work done instead of worrying about everything that's cluttered on your desk. Also, um, it gives you a better ability to be able to do that because if you have so many things on your desk, then it's going to be hard to like keep open a laptop and like a binder and a notebook all at the same time if you need it on your desk. And I know for sure that I am someone who likes to do that because I usually look at multiple different things at once while I'm studying or doing things for school. Tip number nine is to always remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing and even though it's hard at the time and like it stresses you out or whatever it is just remind yourself the end goal or what you're working towards because if you don't have that end goal then it's gonna be 
even tougher on you because you don't even know why you're doing what you're doing. So it's like, why waste your time on it, you know? So like for me, um, my whole life, my end goal has been to get into a top college. And I mean, that has come from just my own personal like goals, um, like kind of trying to prove my self-worth, I guess, in a way, and also trying to prove to myself that I can do it and I can challenge myself and get through it. It also has come from, from my parents, definitely, and they're motivating and supporting me throughout the whole way. But Tip number 10 is to keep in mind something that you are looking forward to. So another thing to keep in mind while you're doing your hard work. Um, this is so, so important. I cannot stress this enough. I think I already kind of touched on this tip a little bit, but even if it's something really, really small, like going out to dinner, that's something that I would always look forward to. Um, like with your family and spending that quality time stress-free without having to worry about work. Just have that in your head while you're doing work because if you don't have anything to look forward to and all you can think about is just continu this continuous cycle of work, 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 and then more work, um, it's going to be hard to find the motivation to get through it because honestly, everyone like hopes for the happiness in life and like the good things in life. No one likes to just do work all the time unless it's something that you're truly passionate about. But I can probably say for the vast majority of us students, doing just school is not something that we're really, really passionate about. All right, next is to take everything step by step, task by task, because although this is like probably something common that everyone says, um, if you have a list of what you need to do and have it all listed out separately in your to-do list, it's easy to like feel accomplished, I guess, once you get something done and then the next thing, then the next thing. Um, but if you think about everything that you have to do all at once, and I have done this before, it gets super, super stressful and your mind literally shuts down and is like, how am I gonna get this done? And you start to think more about like how you're gonna get it done without actually doing it, if that makes sense. Even if it's like steps within a task that you have to complete, um, I do that all the time for like projects and even studying. The next tip is such an important one and I keep saying this, but it is to sleep. That's it. That's as simple as it gets, just to sleep and remember to keep a good sleep schedule. I know this is so hard, I guess, for, a lot of people, like the majority of my school, my high school, I think students just have a really hard time keeping a nice consistent sleep schedule. Um, but I'm sure everyone knows this, it is important to keep a sleep schedule of at least eight hours of sleep every night. And I know that can be hard, definitely. It's especially if you need to stay up late studying and you have like a packed schedule during the day with like sports and other activities. I've actually done a really good job with this throughout my whole high school career, which um, I think has really led to my success and has been a contributing factor, maybe, I think it has. Um, because honestly, I just see people throughout the day who are like so tired and like, especially when you get home and you haven't had enough sleep, doing that work, that homework that you have to do once you get home is going to be so much harder, trust me. Um, I have had those nights where I've only gotten like six hours of sleep and it's tough, even with only six hours. Um, but yeah, I always try to get at least eight hours of sleep. It's just important to remember that your body needs sleep in order to function. So give it what it needs. The next thing is to keep a consistent routine. Um, it's all about organization, guys. That honestly is the key to productivity. And I'm not just saying that. Um, like for me, and as far as school goes, I go to school, obviously, have to get through that. And then once school's done at two, I come home. I eat a snack and then I get straight to work. No delays. Like maybe I'll scroll on my phone for like 10 minutes while I'm eating a snack. But um, after that, I get straight to work. Like I start off with doing the easy tasks first after I write down everything that I need to do. And then I just get right to it. And after that, I work out as many times as possible. If I have a big test the next day, sometimes I skip the workout. But I like to keep that balance this is kind of like bringing all my tips in together. I keep the balance of like fun and doing what's healthy for my body and also the work as well. 
and I feel like keeping that routine is really awesome because it saves time because I know exactly what I should be doing and it just helps me stay productive if I can stick to that routine. Number 14, we have two more guys, is something that I have discovered, I guess. I don't know if everyone does this. I know some people enjoy listening to music while they work and other people don't. If you find yourself really burnt out and you have a pile of work to do and it doesn't involve like reading a lot or like really focusing in and trying to comprehend how to do something, like if you already know how to do it and you're just trying to review it or you're just going through the, math, the motions of like math and stuff like that, I recommend instead of going to your phone and taking breaks and scrolling through TikTok, YouTube Shorts, whatever it is, I recommend that you just pop on your AirPods and listen to music, your headphones, whatever it is, listen to music while you're doing work. Even if you don't like music while you work, just do it. Um, if you, And this is just it, to get you to stop looking at your phone, to be honest. If you go and start scrolling, your music is going to go away. So, I don't know, it just kind of like keeps me in the working like mindset. I might sound crazy, but... That's what I like to do. I suggest you try it out. And the final tip is one that I just want to wrap up. I think it's a nice one to have at the end, to be honest, but it is knowing that putting in the effort now will pay off in the future. I don't care if you believe that or not right now, but trust me, it will somehow. Like, even if it's not the way that you expect it to pay off, it will. And that's because you're working towards a goal. Like, it's not like you're working towards nothing, and even if you are confused on what you're working towards right now, like, maybe start to think about it, and just, like, sit down and literally think about it. And maybe something will come to you, and that'll turn into a bigger goal, aspiration, something. Um, but yeah, just know that everything will work out the way it is supposed to work out in the end, and the, the work you're putting in now is going to be worth it somehow. And I will leave you guys with that. Those were the 15 tips that I had to stay productive and be motivated. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed them and gained some insight from me. Um, maybe you even took notes. I don't know. But if you enjoyed this video and want some more videos like this one, if you like the tip videos, give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!